Okay, so we'd like to talk about number 92 in the chapter 1 mastery on page 102, which says that we should use the formula R is W over T to calculate the rate of work performed in these two scenarios. So let's start with A, I guess, which is what a factory makes 1,600 golf balls in eight hours. How'd you get that? Yeah, exactly. So you guys maybe, I would like it if you thought about this as a function. Do you guys all see the function here? Yes. Some of you? So there's a function here called r, right? What's r take? R is a rate, right? So the output is a rate. What's the input? Your work. Your yeah, work. <laughs> and how long the work takes. And a time. You guys see that? So this takes a work and a time and outputs a rate. And the way it does that is when I've got my work and my time, I stick them into this formula, right? So for part A, I get rate, right, is 1,600 balls divided by 8 hours, so I get 200, right? What are the units on 200? Golf balls an hour. Golf balls an hour. That's kind of a weird unit. <laughs> You guys see that? Usually I measure things in distance per time, right? This golf balls per hour business is kind of weird, but there it is. Okay, for part B, what do I do? What's R? So I've got a pipe that fills a brewery vat in four hours. Yeah, so the rate is 1 over 4. And what are the units? So it's something per hour? Yeah. What's the something? So now it's yeah. it's A bat. Bat. You guys see that? One bat per four hours gives us a quarter bats an hour. Yeah, these aren't specifically like super challenging. Yeah. There's one really weird thing here at the end. You can think about a golf ball as a volume, right? Mm -hmm. You see that? Right, it's a little, it's a little ball. It takes up some space. I could wonder which of these is bigger, right? Which of these is a faster fill? That would be a really strange question. But there's a, something that could help us. We could do some unit conversions to try to convert golf balls into vats, or golf balls into gallons, and then vats into gallons. And then we could actually answer that question. Cool? So a function is just the formula, pretty much? A function is a rule, right? It okay. takes an input and makes an output. It's often given by a formula. Okay. Right? It doesn't have to be given by a formula, but often it is. Okay. Does that make sense? 